Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is How It Started, How It's Going, a series where we catch up with cast members who started their career on a Disney program. What's your name? My name's Reem. Okay, Reem, what do you do for Disney? I'm a guest experience manager in entertainment. I currently support the administrative side of entertainment here in Magic Kingdom. My day-to-day kind of looks different every single day, which is why I love it. We deal with kind of the staffing of entertainment, making sure that our cast members go where they're supposed to so that everything is, you know, up and running. So what's your favorite part about your role? I am a big advocate for development and relationship building. So in order to succeed, cast members want to, you know, feel comfortable in the location that they're in especially with their leaders. So that's my goal and my mission is to make sure that the cast know we're one step away, whatever they need, to be able to kind of break down those walls, get to know the cast members, hopefully get them to their end goals as well. Mm -hmm. It's what I love. Where did you start with the company? I started on a college program. Really? Yes. Where did you work? I worked in the Reese Square. Right here in Magic Kingdom? Right here in Magic Kingdom. We have to go visit. Absolutely. Let's go. So what did you like about working here in Liberty Square? I like Liberty Square because it's kind of central in the park, so you get to see a lot of the chaos. Um, When I did Christmas shop, we could see the parade, which was so fun. And when I was closing, I made it a point every single night to step outside, watch Tinkerbell fly, and then go back inside. So it was just really, really magical. What did you like most about the role of merchandise? I like the fact that you got to talk to guests, Mm -hmm. like make magic. Um, I definitely one time was a part of a gender reveal which was so sweet, but I didn't know it at the time. (laughs) Wait, tell us more. (laughs) So they walked in and they were like, hey, we're looking for an ornament. Do you have like something that's pink or blue? And they were like, okay, I just need this in like the next 20 minutes. I said, okay, sure. So once you fill out the, you know, the little order, they were like, so we're doing it and you have to write, it's a boy. So at that moment I knew and the family was outside the Christmas shop. Um, and they were like, can you come be a part of the, the moment with us? I definitely cried a little bit, so. That is so yeah. special. Being a part of those moments was so magical. I feel like people don't realize that merchandise is not one of those roles where you have a little bit more downtime to talk with those guests and yes. get that interaction. Yes, absolutely. What is one of your favorite memories from your time here? My program, I talk about it so much yeah. because truly it was one of those times where I felt like I grew as a person, and my proprietor at the time of my program actually is here, so to be able to talk to them. But I think if I could just pick one memory, it truly is the nights where I got to watch Tinkerbell fly. One of the nights, um, there was a little girl who was dressed up as Jasmine, and in front of the Christmas shop, there's a little slate, and it's my favorite place to watch the fireworks from. We sat down, I was like, you should come watch the fireworks from here. By the end of the show, when Tinkerbell was getting ready to fly, I stepped outside, watched it, watched it with her, and it was kind of towards the end of my program. Yeah, I definitely shed some hit tears. Harder. It hit so hard. I shed some tears, but those are the memories that I yeah. cherish so much. I will talk about my college program to anyone who will listen. Anybody. Fact, anyone who won't listen, I'm still going <laughs> to talk about it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So when you found out that you were going to be here at Liberty Square Merchandise, what was your initial reaction? So excited. Yeah, so excited. All of my roommates were in merchandise. Or oh, wow. In merchandise or in Magic Kingdom. So some were in entertainment, but all of them were here in Magic Kingdom. So first of all, I was excited to be with my roommates, but then also to be in Magic Kingdom and get to see the castle every day. Like, I had zero complaints. That is amazing. (laughs) I know you mentioned that you grew a lot. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you learned on your program that you've carried into your career today? Yes, so much. I think the importance of communication, I learned a lot because you have to be able to communicate with the guests in order to meet their needs, um, but also to grow as a person. I also learned the importance of patience. Magic Kingdom truly is the home. We are the flagship. We are the representation of Disney, if you will. So I think I learned to be patient with people. I also learned that you kind of make the most of any situation you're in, and in the cheesiest way possible, you have to be positive in order for the interaction to be positive. So I think I learned to have a better outlook on a lot of things. That's amazing. The college program really is special. Yes, 100%. 
So Angelina, when did you start your program? So I started a couple of months ago in the fall, so it's been pretty fun. Yeah, so where are you working now? Liberty Square Merchandise? Yes, Liberty Square Merchandise, so that's kind of like the Christmas shop as well as Memento Mori. So have you picked up shifts anywhere else? I have picked up in a couple of places, mostly Hollywood Studios. I've done one in Animal Kingdom, and a couple different locations here um, at Magic Kingdom. What are you most looking forward to for the rest of your program? I would say trying to get all those different locations. Um, I've kind of stayed here in Liberty Square just to feel like more comfortable, make sure I can actually do the job before I go out there yeah. um, to other places, but just like seeing how different locations work and just seeing the parks and different guests as well. Nice, so yeah. what are you hoping to do once your program is over? Well, I am hoping to get in with the company. Uh, I have applied to a couple of internships. Um, I've heard back from a couple of them, and it was a no for some of them, but still looking out for good. a chance to get it. Good, good, mm -hmm. stay persistent, don't give up. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so you did say that you started your CP here in Liberty Square. Um, is there anything that you would say is like very different or like how does it compare from then to now? So when I did my college program, the Christmas shop was going under refurbishment. The offerings were a little bit different, but for the most part, it's been, it's very much the same. The merchandise um, doesn't, hasn't changed too much, okay. but it's changed just enough to where you can kind of, you know, see a lot of different things. For the most part, it's still very similar. Gotcha. Do you still like to come in every now and then when you come to the parks? Absolutely. I have to. I have to pass by. Even when I'm working in the mm -hmm. parks and I'm walking around, I have to stop in the, uh, the Christmas shop, see what we're selling, see what I can buy, gotcha. see how I can spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that smell when you like pass oh, by? I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. It's the nostalgia of my college program, so I love it so much. Um, so what is some advice you would give um, any CPs that are currently in the program or like maybe future CPs who want to get in with the company? Yeah, so I think first of all you should make the most of your program. My college program was honestly the best time and I don't say that because you know I currently work for the company or whatever. Truly my college program, the memories are the best memories I've had. Mm -hmm. So make sure you make the most of it. Uh, you also make a lot of connections during your college program that you don't realize help you in the future. So connect with your leaders, connect with you know, your fellow cast members, meet the people across the parks, especially because you pick up in a lot of locations. Mm -hmm. Connect with them. Tell gotcha. them, hey guys, I want to stay with the company. Do you have any advice for me? Do you have anybody I can chat with? Um, because the company is so big, but everybody knows everybody. Gotcha. So that way you can kind of get your foot in the door in some way. Um, and I know you mentioned before when we were talking off camera, you might want to do costuming. Yeah. Um, and I work in entertainment, so I'm happy to connect you with whoever. Gotcha. Um, so definitely make the most of your program, make the most of your connections, and you know, just have fun. No, that's really good advice. Thank you so much. So how did it feel to stroll down memory lane today? So good. So good. I feel like I owe that location to the reason that I'm still here today. Um, I made my best memories over there, so really, really good. So that being said, would you recommend a Disney college program? 1000%. So as someone who has successfully built a career with Disney after your college program, what advice do you have for current participants, future participants, anyone who's looking to accomplish the same thing? Yeah, I think it's really important to talk to your leaders. Um, talk to your peers, especially if you're able to pick up in different locations, take the time to make those connections. Um, I think the Disney programs makes a really good point in introducing participants into what's out there through the mm -hmm. company. So take full advantage of that, you know? I think also remember that you're only here for a short period of time. Yeah. Whether or not you choose to stay, your program is really so short. So enjoy it, have so much fun, and just make the most of it. I completely agree with all of that. And thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Reem. I have absolutely adored getting to hear your experience. It's always so great to hear about someone who came from a college program and built such an incredible career. Because if you have to start somewhere, why not here? 